Good morning, everyone. Welcome from the remote location of St. Stephen's uh, Sanctuary, uh, better known as the best household um, living room. Uh, so we want to welcome you today. Uh, and thank you for being flexible as we uh, deal with the, the weather situation. Today is January 9th. Today we're celebrating the baptism of our Lord. How appropriate that it is raining outside and we get to remember our baptism on this day. Um, online, you can find the bulletin on the church website if you don't have one uh, printed off. It's, the website is stephenlc.org. And so we welcome you to do that. We want to thank you, our uh, many worship assistants who make worship possible and for their flexibility. Uh, today, we have Neil as our Zoom host, Pat as our lector, Stacy our assisting minister, Abby is our musician, and Nicole is our Facebook host. We had other folks who, uh, if we had an in-person uh, portion in the sanctuary, would have been helping out. And I want to thank them also because they make themselves available. Tom and Bill would have been our AV team, um, and uh, Scott would have been our usher, and Sue uh, provided Alter Guild. So we want to thank them for, um, for doing that. During this service, I want to invite you also, and you can do this now or, or at some point earlier before the readings, is I want to invite you to get a bowl and fill it with some water. Um, as we go through, we're going to utilize this uh, in the service. It doesn't have to be a huge bowl. You just need some, some kind of container with some water, enough that you're able to, to dip your hand in. And you may want to also have a towel just handy for yourself. Don't worry, you're not going to take a bath or anything of that nature, but just enough to, to put your hands in and then to, to wipe it off. Um, I invite you to put the prayers in the chat section. Uh, we will include those during the, uh, the prayers of the congregation. And because we had to do some shifting, um, the, the liturgy, the sung liturgy portions that would normally be sung by Cantor will be spoken this morning. And the hymns we will probably, um, Abby is going to play the music and uh, I'm gonna spare you from having to hear me sing. So uh, you can sing along though uh, at home. And of course, you're always welcome to provide your own elements for communion when we get to that portion, uh, bread and some wine or either grape juice, and we'll be able to do that. I invite you to turn with me to page one to read the mission statement together. We respond to Christ's love by feeding those who hunger in body, mind, and spirit. Let us prepare our hearts and minds to be washed and cleansed by Christ in worship.
Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, who sends the word with angels, who made flesh among all peoples, and who breathes peace on all the earth. Amen. In Christ, we are bold to name our sin and cry out for peace. Holy God, we confess our sin before you. We replace compassion with competition. We seek what is mighty while ignoring the meek. We are quick to anger, but slow to forgive. We have now put on, not put on love in harmony with you. Wrap us in the grace of your powerful word. Swaddle our hearts with your peace, that all we do in word or deed may reflect your love born among us. Amen. I bring you good news of great joy for all the people. God has come among us in the child born of Mary, Christ the Lord. In Christ, your sins are forgiven and you are clothed in peace. Amen. We'll continue with our gathering hymn. This is the Spirit's entry now. The boundless grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the wisdom of God, and the light of the Holy Spirit be with you all and also with you. I invite you during the Kyrie to um, respond in the bold uh, with Lord have mercy and also the canticle of praise. You can say it along with me. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you. We give you thanks. We praise you for your glory. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. Glory to God in the highest and peace to God's people on earth. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and peace to God's people on earth. Let us pray. Almighty God, you anointed Jesus at his baptism with the Holy Spirit and revealed him as your beloved son. 
Keep all who are born of water and the Spirit faithful in your service, that we may rejoice to be called children of God through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We'll continue with our readings. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, the 43rd chapter. But now, thus says the Lord, he who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt as your ransom, Ethiopia and Seba in exchange for you, because you are precious in my sight, and honored, and I love you. I give people in return for you, nations in exchange for your life. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east, and from the west I will gather you. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not withhold. Bring my sons from far away, and my daughters from the end of the earth, and everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. We will now re read the psalm. Um, I will, you're welcome to join in with me in the bold print. Psalm 29. Ascribe to the Lord, you gods. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due God's name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is upon the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is a powerful voice. The voice of the Lord is a voice of splendor. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedar trees. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. The Lord makes Lebanon skip like a calf and Mount Hermon like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord bursts forth in lightning flashes. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the oak trees rise, writhe and strips the forest bare. And in the temple of the Lord, all are crying glory. The Lord sits enthroned above the flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king forevermore. O Lord, give strength to your people. Give them, O Lord, the blessings of peace. The second lesson comes from Acts chapter 8, verse, beginning at verse 14. Now when the apostles at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent Peter and John to them. The two went down and prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit, for as yet the Spirit had not come upon any of them. They had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then Peter and John laid their hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. A reading from the gospel according to St. Luke, the third chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. As the people were filled, filled with expectation and all were questioning in their hearts concerning John, whether he might be the Messiah, John answered all of them by saying, I baptize you with water, but one who is more powerful than I is coming. I am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand 
to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his granary, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Now when all the people were baptized, and when Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, the heaven was opened, and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove, and a voice came from heaven, you are my son, the beloved, with you I am well pleased. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So this past year, a friend of mine had created a comic book, of all things. Uh, it's a pretty serious comic book. The title of it is called Invisible. The hero of the story, his name is Mac, and he's a homeless veteran. And he's common and special at the same time. He's homeless like so many others, especially so many homeless veterans looked over, ignored, invisible in many ways, hence the name of the comic book. But that's also his superpower as well, the thing that makes him special. His superpower is his invisibility. People can't see the homeless guy. He uses this superpower to save a group of children who are being trafficked in the comic book. He's common and he's special common, normal, nothing special, essentially invisible, very special, very powerful. This is a good description of Jesus and baptism, both at the same time. If you take a look back at our reading in Luke, you see a few different things. You get both of this mixture, very special and very common at the same time. John gives us this sense of very special when he responds to the expectation that people have about John being the Messiah. Messiah is a word that means anointed one. It's special, anointed by God. John answers them. You see it in here. I baptize you with water, which is pretty common, but one who is more powerful than I is coming, and I'm not worthy to untie the thong of his sandals. He will baptize you with Holy Spirit and fire, his winnowing fork in his, in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his granary, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. It gives a sense of something and someone who is very special, who is very powerful. And yet, when we look at this, we also get something very common, ignored, almost invisible. We get water. We get a baptism in water, which is common. Water by itself is just water. It goes on in the scripture. Now, when all the people were baptized and when Jesus had also been baptized, it's as if John had been talking about Jesus and no one even knew that he was there. He was just in the mix, invisible, just among everyone else, being baptized, not set apart, not done in a special way, baptized like everyone else in a common way. Luther wrote some things about baptism in the large catechism. I just want to read a small couple of lines on this. Luther writes, what is baptism? Namely, that it is not simply plain water, but water placed in the setting of God's word and commandment and made holy by them. It is nothing else than God's water. Not that the water itself is nobler than other water, but that God's word and commandment are added to it. Likewise, he writes, for God himself stakes his honor, his power, and his might on it, as in baptism. When the word is added to the element of the natural substance, it becomes a sacrament. That is a holy, divine thing and sign. Today, I want us to remember our baptism, something that's very common, water, especially as it rains outside today. Something so very common, yet something, baptism, something so very special. In our baptism, we receive a promise 
from the Holy Spirit that marks us as part of God's family. It's something very special. And it's all done with water and God's word, the common and the special. Luther also wrote about what baptism promises. What baptism promises and brings, victory over death and the devil, forgiveness of sin, God's grace, the entire Christ and the Holy Spirit and his gifts. This is what Luther said that baptism promises us. And I think baptism also, beyond what Luther tells us about baptism, also does one other thing. It opens our eyes, it cleanses our eyes, washes our eyes to see Christ in others, in the common, invisible people, and the very special that stick out to us and touch our lives. As I was preparing for today, I saw a story about a man named Ikram, who is in Turkey. In fact, he's a butcher in Turkey. And the story just caught my attention because in a way, it was like seeing the image of Christ. Ikram, like I mentioned, is a butcher in, Tur in Turkey. And a while ago, he would have a special visitor come into his, his butcher shop. It was a stray cat. They have a lot of stray cats and dogs roaming around in the city where Ikram, his business, is located. And so this cat would come in right to the counter. And so Ikram started to form a special bond with this cat. He gave it a name and he would talk with the cat and he started feeding the cat some meat to the point where he would, the cat would, would start to select what he wanted to have as far as meat. It was incredible. Ikram made a decision at that point that any stray dog or cat that came to his store, he would provide meat for. And in the story, we see all of these cats and dogs, they wait by the front door. They sit, they wait. He comes out, he greets them. He probably has a name for all of them. And he feeds them. And they're very gentle. They are, are, are they wait their turns. In Ikram, we see the face of God. We see the face of Christ caring for the least and the lost, the invisible. Yeah, they're not human beings, but they're part of God's creation. This is what baptism is about. The common the invisible, and the very special. This is what God does. This is what the baptism of our Lord is about. Jesus walking amongst the common people, one of us, and at the same time, very special as well. We hear it in the voice that comes from heaven. You are my son, the beloved with you. I am well pleased. In Luke, we don't know if the rest of the crowd heard the voice from heaven. But we know that Jesus did. And Jesus lives his life caring for the common and the special, caring for you and for me. I invite us now, as we go into our hymn of the day, which is Wade in the Water, I invite us to contemplate. Where do you see Christ waiting in the water, waiting in the water of our lives, troubling the water? Maybe our lives are nice and steady, although I don't know how that's possible in the pandemic, but maybe it is. How does God wade in the waters and trouble the waters, stirring things in us? Where do we see Christ in the obvious special places and people? And where can we give joy for that? And where do we see Christ in the ordinary, the invisible, those around us that we don't, we just look past? Maybe it's those that are experiencing homelessness. Maybe it's the animals. Maybe it's nature. Maybe it's just the people we pass on the street, whatever the case may be. Where is God waiting in the waters, making things common and special? in our lives and in our world. So let us contemplate that as we hear our hymn of the day, Wade in the Water.
Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us profess our faith using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord is poured out upon us in abundance, so we are bold to pray for the church, the world, and all that God has made. <clears throat> By the Holy Spirit, you gather your church and send it out in mission to share the good news of Jesus. Inspire your faithful people to be fervent in prayer and service that all people know they are precious in God's sight. God of grace, hear our prayer. You reveal your love and power through the water and the spirit. Guard rivers, seas, and all bodies of water from destruction and pollution. Secure access to clean water for all and protect the land from drought and flood. God of grace, hear our prayer. Establish among the nations the blessings of peace. Raise up leaders who will protect the vulnerable people in their care. Strengthen advocates who risk reputation or retaliation for the sake of mercy and justice. God of grace, hear our prayer. You protect us through the fires and troubled waters of this life. Assure us that we will not be cut off from you by illness or despair, anxiety or pain, confusion or weakness. Comfort all who are in need. God of grace, hear our prayer. We are joined in baptism to Christ and to one another. Bless those who are newly baptized and those who are preparing for baptism. Help us to be faithful in fellowship, worship, evangelism, service, and justice seeking. God of grace, hear our prayer. You created each of your saints for glory. We give thanks for those you have called by name into your eternal grace. Comfort us in grief and release us from fear. God of grace, hear our prayer. Prayers for a couple who are struggling with many traumas over the past year. We pray for continued healing for Keith Bailey's daughter, Barb, as she moves forward in her treatment for lung cancer. We ask for commitment Comfort for Keith and Melinda as they support Barb during her treatments. Prayers for Kevin Stafford as he continues to heal and return to work. Prayers for the lonely and forgotten. May their needs be met. Prayers for the homeless and the frigid weather as that they may be protected. Prayers for healing for Mike as he is tested positive for COVID. Prayers for the family and friends of Ron Bowermaster who passed away this week. In Isaiah, we hear God say through the prophet, bring my sons from, from far away and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Everyone I called by my name, whom I created for my glory, who I formed and made. All the people are yours, Lord, of all races. Put an end to the evils of racism and nationalism. In Isaiah, we hear God say through the prophet, do not fear, for I am with you. We pray that your presence would put an end to gun violence. Today, we pray for the families and friends of the five people who died this past week and the seven people who were injured. We lift up the following communities, San Antonio, Texas, Corsicana, Texas, and Jackson, Mississippi. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Since we have such a great hope in your promises, O oh God, we lift up these and all your prayers to you in confidence and faith through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. 
The peace of Christ be with you always, also with you. Let us show a sign of that peace. I invite you to put your screen onto the gallery view so that we can all see each other and put your camera on for uh, the sharing of the peace and we can share a peace with each other. We'll continue with our offering. The instructions for the offering are in the bulletin. And we thank you for your generosity that allows us to do the, mini the ministry and the mission of this church in such a variety of different ways, whether it is feeding people, educating people, growing in faith and worship, even in a way like this. So thank you for your generosity. And I invite you also to set your own table, bread, and wine or grape juice, as we have done in, in the past, the same way. Let us pray. Blessed are you, O God, sovereign of the universe. You offer us new beginnings and guide us on our journey. Lead us at your table, nourish us with this heavenly food, and prepare us to carry your love to a hungry world. In the name of Christ, our light. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior, Jesus Christ. By the leading of a star, he was shown forth to all nations. In the waters of the Jordan, you proclaimed him your beloved son. And in the miracle of water turned to wine, he revealed your glory. And so with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Holy one, the beginning and the end, the giver of life. Blessed are you for the birth of creation. Blessed are you in the darkness and the light. Blessed are you for your promise to your people. Blessed are you in the prophet's hopes and dreams. Blessed are you for Mary's openness to your will. Blessed are you for your son, Jesus, the word made flesh. I invite you to hold up your element of bread as we say the words of consecration. In the night in which he was handed over, our Lord Jesus took bread gave thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. I invite you to hold up your cup at this time. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, gave it for all the drinks saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. With this bread and cup, we remember your word dwelling among us, full of grace and truth. We remember our birth in his death and resurrection. We look with hope for his coming. Come, Lord Jesus. Holy God, we long for your spirit. Come among us. Bless this meal. May your word take flesh in us. Awaken your people and fill us with your light. Bring the gift of peace on earth. Come, Holy Spirit. All praise and glory are yours. Holy One of Israel, Word of God incarnate, power of the Most High, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. In Christ's manger, at Christ's table, come see what God makes known for you.
I invite you to say the Lamb of God with me. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus, broken and shed for you. The body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. The body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. Of Christ given for you, the blood of Christ shed for you. Let us pray. We thank you, wondrous God, for Jesus, God with us in these gifts of bread and wine. As we have shared this feast of love, strengthen us to share your love with all the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The God of hope, fill us with all joy and peace in believing, so that we may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit, through Christ Jesus, the Word made flesh. Amen. We'll continue with our sending him, Christ, when for us you were baptized. peace. Rejoice in Christ our Savior. Thanks be to God. <laughs>